I was one of a family of seven. My brothers were all older than me. One was a geologist, one was a physicist, and one was a spine surgeon. That left chemistry by default. I went to a, a high school in rural Pennsylvania, but the high school wasn't that good. I didn't have calculus. I don't even think I had physics. I did win the science award when I was a senior in high school, but it really didn't mean a whole lot because there wasn't a lot of competition. But it gave me confidence, made me think I, I might be good at science. So I decided to pursue a degree in science from Dickinson College, where I met my future wife, who was a, a professional scientist herself. I went to Penn State, became a full-fledged chemist, we call synthetic organometallic chemistry. Then I went to MIT, and I was introduced to what was called surface science and electrochemistry. I moved to Northwestern, and pretty soon we became one of the largest users of atomic force microscopy in the world. We decided, let's start a nanotech center. Talk about perfect timing. Clinton announces that nanotechnology is going to be the hottest thing since sliced bread. My budget supports a major new national nanotechnology initiative worth $500 million. Very exciting time, and we never look back. There are many discoveries here that I think are, are really quite exciting. Spherical nucleic acids that can go into cancer cells and begin to cause them to selectively die. The invention of dependental lithography, the world's tiniest writing tool as well. We now have over 1,200 patents in seven different companies that have helped to translate those discoveries into literally thousands of commercial products, giving us life-changing, life-saving therapies and medical diagnostic tools that were developed first here at Northwestern are now in half the world's top hospitals. In 2008, I got asked to come participate in the President's Council of Advisors for Science and Technology. I had direct interface with the President, so to have a dialogue directly with the President to uh, really impact the world at a much higher level was a big deal, and uh, I think we did some good. Hey, Peter. Yeah, hey. What's going on? Making nanoparticles. Is it gold yeah, nanoparticles? Gold nanoparticles, yeah. I'm most proud of the people that I've influenced. I still teach freshman chemistry. I had some professors that uh, really were quite inspirational and, and helped me find my real passion in life, and that was chemistry. I would like to do that for my students. I believe that you shouldn't scare people out of science. I think you should encourage people to participate. I don't think there's any better profession than being able to go into the lab and discover things that have never been discovered before, make things that have never been made before. So to be selected to win the biggest award in nanomedicine, it's really an incredible honor.